and come together around those things that we know, we know are right for Virginia's future. And that's why someone asked me last week, so what are you excited about? And I said, this bus tour is gonna be awesome. It is gonna be awesome. I have a number of things that I wanna share with you and ask from you. And let me just start. On this bus tour with us are gonna be all kinds of Virginians, heroes, teachers, police officers, sheriffs, public servants, children who are trying to learn. We've got a moment for us to recognize that as my friend Jason Miares always says, there are quiet heroes all over this, common, this Commonwealth of Virginia. And it is the quiet heroes that we're going to work for. And this is what this bus tour is all about. And this is what it's all about. Now, one of the things I need for you to do is go vote. If you haven't voted, go vote. Many of you already have, so thank you. By the way, the polls are great polls right over there. <laughs> you can walk right over there and do it. I need you to get 10 friends to go vote. This is really important. You know, there's, a, there's an action in, in, in this great democracy where we get to express our will for what our government will be of the people, for the people, by the people. It's voting. But there's another action, which is to get others to vote too. So I'd ask you to write down 10 friends' names, 10 friends that aren't here, 10 friends that will hopefully vote for me, 10 friends that will vote for Jason Miares, 10 friends that will vote for Winston Sears, 10 friends that will vote for Harold Pion, right here to be your next. Hey. I mean, God, Gary, Gary Pan, sorry, I'm thinking about you, Gary Pan. Vote for Gary. Also, for those, of, for those of you that are in the 40s, vote for Harold. For those of you that live here, vote for Gary. Friends, this is what we have to do. We have to get out and vote. Second thing is, please, please, please be our ambassadors everywhere you go. Everybody you meet. I've been trying to interview with eight and a half million Virginians. I'm not gonna meet them all, but you know a lot of them. So be our ambassadors. Talk about what we stand for. When we have the great privilege of going to work for all Virginians, we're gonna lower taxes because it's too expensive to live here. We're gonna, we're gonna eliminate the grocery tax. So when you go to Safeway, you'll pay less for milk and eggs and bread, baby food. We're gonna double the standard deduction. We're gonna declare the largest tax rebate in the history of Virginia. It is your money, not Terry McCullough's. As we stand here right now in the Freedom Memorial, right here, it reminds me that one of the things we feel most strongly about as Virginians is the fact that one in 11 Virginians is a veteran. And we owe our veterans our thanks, our gratitude for standing up for our freedom. And one of the things we're gonna do is work to keep our veterans here, here. We're gonna work to keep our veterans here in Virginia. So we in fact are going to, we're gonna exclude up to $40,000. It'll take us three years to build up $40,000 of our veterans retirement benefits from taxes all together. So they stay here in the Commonwealth of Virginia. We're going to work for our schools Schools absolutely are on the forefront of Virginians' minds right now, particularly here in Northern Virginia. We know what we need to do. One, our schools will stay open five days a week in, cl in class education. Second of all, we're gonna make sure that we reestablish high expectations in schools, not the watered down ones that Terry McAuliffe left us. Third, we're gonna have the largest school budget in the history of Virginia. We're gonna invest in teachers. We're gonna invest in facilities. We're gonna invest in special education. And we're gonna launch the most aggressive charter school campaign ever seen to provide choice in our public school system so that a child's zip code doesn't determine his or her destiny. And finally. You're hired. Finally, <laughs> finally, we're going to work on curriculum. We have to have expectations of excellence. Yes, we're gonna teach accelerated math all the way through. Yes, we're gonna award advanced diplomas. And folks, we're gonna teach all history, the good and the bad. We are not going to airbrush our history. But what we're not gonna do is teach our children to view everything through the lens of race. We're not gonna do this. It's in fact, absolutely the opposite of what we're called to do. We're called to love one another, to pick up with the prayers from earlier, because we're all one body of Christ. 
We're called to one, love one another as he loved us. Not to divide everybody up into buckets based on the color of their skin. I mean, it's the exact opposite of what Dr. Martin Luther King was imploring us all to do, which is to judge one another based on the content of our character, not the color of our skin. So we will get critical race theory out of our schools on day one. We will. We will. We're going to make our neighborhoods a lot safer. Right now we're a 20-year high in crime in Virginia. We see the murder rate escalating. A 20-year high in crime and murder rate. Four of our great Virginia cities rank in the top 65 deadliest cities in America with Richmond at number 11. Friends, this has got to stop. We've got to invest in law enforcement, not defund law enforcement. We've got to protect qualified immunity. We must invest in our mental health system, which is in a state of chaos. And our parole board is out of control. And so we'll replace the entire parole board on day one and go to work making sure that we have a system that looks after victims too. On day one, we're going to get our economy moving. Our economy stalled out. We all know it. It's fun to watch Terry McCall try to defend the record that's indefensible. 32 out of 79 of his economic development deals failed to create a single job. Amen. A single job. Friends, the states around us, and we watch it, Maryland, North Carolina, Tennessee, South Carolina, Georgia, they have been running laps around us for eight years. Their economy is growing 70% faster. I mean, North Carolina created eight times the job that jobs that Virginia has over the last eight years. Tennessee, six times. We gotta get this fixed. So on day one first, I will declare Virginia open for business. We will not be closed. We're gonna protect our right to work status. Terry McAuliffe wants to get rid of it. I will protect it. We will not have forced unionization in Virginia. The Virginia Economic Development Partnership already claims that if we lose our right to work status, it will cost Virginians immediately $11 billion of investment and nearly 40,000 jobs. Right out of the box. Friends, we cannot let this happen. But we have to get our economy moving. We're going to jumpstart it. We're going to cut 25% of job-killing regulations. By the way, the Virginia Code has 37,000 pages in it. Imagine one of these businesses over here trying to figure out how to navigate that. We're going to cut 25% of job-killing regulations. We're going to declare a 12-month tax holiday for small business to keep their, keep their income. They can invest in growth and employment. We're going to create a training program to prepare our children through K-12 through education to have them ready for college or career. We're going to put incubators around our great universities and accelerators so that we can be an innovation economy, not a stalled one. And friends, over four years, we've got a plan to create 400,000 jobs and 10,000 startups. But let me be clear, governors do not create jobs, businesses do. That's my job, to help businesses create jobs. And finally, we need a government that's going to work for us and stop telling us what to do. It starts by protecting our constitutional rights, our First Amendment rights, our Second Amendment rights, our Tenth Amendment rights. Jason Meares and I are going to go to work with Winsome to push back against Washington overreach. My opponent, Terry McAuliffe, believes in big government control. He says it every day. Government should be between parents and their children. Government should force everybody to join a union. Government should be able to raise taxes even though we're overtaxed. Government should in fact be able to tell your employer to fire you if you don't get a vaccine. And oh, by the way, forbid you from collecting unemployment afterwards. I mean, Terry McAuliffe said he wanted to make life difficult for people that he did, that didn't agree with him. He wants to ruin their lives. This is what he wants to do. Friends, here we go. <laughs> We are going to go to work for the people. Finally, I have a real frustration with inefficiency and waste, and yes, I am going into government. Because <laughs> that's where it is. That's where it is. And on day one, we're going to launch a full audit of every department in the Commonwealth's government for waste, for fraud, for transparency. And let me tell you where we're starting. First two big ones are the Virginia Employment Commission and the DMV. That's where we're going for. I want to thank all of you for being out here this morning. I want to thank you for being out here this morning. We have a lot of work to do. And let's be serious. This is not about a campaign. This is about a movement, a movement led by Virginians, by parents. This is a movement, and here's what we must do. We will win the statewide offices. We'll sweep them. We're going to take back our House of Delegates yeah. with Gary Pan yeah. leading right here. You and I are going to carpool every day as we go down to work, right? Yeah. We're going to carpool. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to have that bus, pal. 
<laughs> we're gonna purple, okay? I guarantee you. And we're gonna go to work together in order to make this commonwealth what we know she can, must, will be, which is the best state in America to live and work and raise a family. This is what we're gonna go do. And Suzanne is right. We are so humbled to be starting this 10 day tour, 50 stops around this great commonwealth, but we're starting right here, right here at home, right here with those that we just so love dearly and feel your love for us. You prayed for us, you contributed, you volunteered, you planted signs, you're volunteering up at Great Falls Elementary in the library and all the polling locations. We raised our children together. We've actually cried together when there's been tragedy. Friends, I can't tell you how meaningful it is to be right here with you. So off we go. We're heading out to go share with Virginians what the vision of the future can we, will be, must be. And I can't tell you how excited I am to think about that day on January 15th where I know Winsome and Jason and I, plus, plus Gary and everybody else, are going to feel so humbled, so privileged to be able to go work for all of you, and especially me as the 74th governor of this amazing Commonwealth of Virginia. God bless you all. Let's go sign the box. Let's go sign the box. There we go. Bless you all.